Okay, let's look at one more tool for transferring files and connect, or connecting to remote systems and accessing files there, and that is SSHFS. Now, SSHFS is really fast and easy to use, but there are some issues with SSHFS that you want to be aware of. Let's start by looking at how we use it, and then we'll talk about some of those challenges. So, um, I'm going to start by installing SSHFS. So it's apt install SSHFS. All right, there we go. It is installed. Now, I'm going to create a folder that I'm going to use uh, to connect to using SSHFS. So mkdir forward slash SSHFS share. That sounds good. Then I'm going to create a mount point where I can mount that information. Actually, before I do that, mkdir sshfs share forward slash sshfs demo. Okay, um, now I'm going to create a folder to mount that sshfs share in. So that's going to be mkdir forward slash mnt forward slash slash sshfs. There we go. That's my mount point. Now to connect to it, this is what we're going to do. sshfs, and then I'm going to set my username, david at localhost, colon, and then the folder that I want to connect to, sshfs share, and then the place that I want to mount it to. So mnt, forward slash SSHFS. Are you sure you want to continue connecting? Yes, we do. And then log in. Okay, that now gives me that mount point. So if I CD forward slash MNT forward slash SSHFS, we'll see our SSA. SSHFS demo. Boy, that's hard to say in a hurry. Our SSHFS demo folder. Okay. Easy enough. Um, now I can work with the system, make a new folder, except that I didn't set permissions to allow myself to, so whatever. Um, so I have access to that particular folder now. Now, I said there were some issues that we need to be aware of with this. So let me CD, and that'll take me back to my root. And then I am going to unmount MNT SSHFS. All right. Now, here's the challenge with that. With Samba, in my SMB config file, I had to specify which folders I was sharing. With NFS, I had to specify it in the exports folder. With SSHFS, I technically don't have to specify what I'm trying to share. So let me do this. SSHFS, David at localhost, but this time I want to connect to the ETC folder. Now I haven't specified that I wanted to share uh, share the ETC folder. For that matter, I didn't specify that I want to share SSHFS either. Um, I just want to connect to the ETC folder. And I want to put it in my mount sshfs folder. And now if I go to cd mnt sshfs, there's my etc folder. So here's the security ramifications of sshfs. You don't have to configure shares. People can access if you have SSHFS. They can actually access your um, files as long as they've got permissions to, right? So they're going to have to have the username and password. They can't just make this up out of nowhere. They actually have to connect and they actually have to have permissions. But if they do, they can access any place in your file system, not just the uh, folders that you specifically specified that you wanted to share the way you did in NFS and Samba. So that creates a little bit of a security challenge. It's also really convenient if you're trying to connect to something and you need to connect to another server, grab files real quick. You don't, um, you know where they're at, but you haven't necessarily set up uh, sharing using NFS or Samba. So it's flexible, it's powerful, it's convenient, 
but it does have some security ramifications that you need to think through before you install and use SSHFS.